Hello again, welcome back to Joe's on Flavors. I'm Joel Silva and today we're going to be cooking cataplana. Do you see where my finger is pointing? That dish over there? Yeah, that's the one we're going to be cooking in and that's the actual cataplana. And today we're going to be cooking a chicken cataplana. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Right, so as uh, we discussed, that is the actual cataplana. That is the, the dish we're going to be cooking from today. And actually, I'm going to get it down now so uh, we can see how this works. Uh, so this is a, a typical dish uh, from the southern part of Portugal, uh, the Algarve, many of you will know. And um, this is a very, um, very popular dish uh, in the Algarve. And basically, it's a, a pot that uh, steams or cooks everything um, in its own steam. It's typically, so the original cataplan is probably made with the fish, uh, but then from that point on, and, and sea fish and uh, seafood, but that, uh, from that point onwards, uh, there's um, uh, probably hundreds of ways of, uh, of uh, cooking um, cataplana. But one thing in common um, with all of those cataplanas is that you have to have this dish. You have to have this pan uh, to, to cook a proper cataplana. And uh, I'm going to tell you now how to do uh, a very typical and uh, uh, traditional Portuguese cataplana. Today I'm going to be using chicken um, and, uh, instead of uh, fish, but the process is pretty much the same. Okay, so I'm going to set this aside for a second, uh, so we discuss what we have here to, uh, to cook with. So yeah, it's a chicken cataplana, so we're going to be cooking chicken and uh, I'm using thighs for that uh, for that chicken. I'm going to use the bone-in uh, chicken, but I have a couple of tricks which I'm going to get on um, to it in just two seconds. Let me just tell you what you're going to be needing uh, to cook this dish. So we have um, uh, um, onions and uh, garlic over there, just a couple of uh, cloves. Uh, on this side we have uh, red peppers and green peppers and we have a couple of uh, bay leaves as well. Uh, and then obviously we have some uh, tomatoes here and uh, uh, some uh, uh, carrots and then on the herb side we have uh, a bunch of coriander and a little bit of uh, mint. Um, in terms of, uh, of seasoning we're going to be needing salt, pepper and uh, paprika, smoked paprika and uh, we're going to be needing as well some uh, uh, dry white wine, some olive oil and a little bit of piri piri. Right so I'm going to set these aside here and I'm going to tell you what I did with my chicken so that you can uh, uh, follow my process as well. So I have the thighs here, I got four thighs here and um, as you can see uh, they are all opened up but the bone is still in, inside. I still have the bone there because um, I like the flavor that adds, uh, that the, the bone adds to uh, uh, whichever uh, chicken uh, dish we, we are preparing. So there's a, a lot of things going on in that bone, there's um, bone marrow, there's um, there's cartilage and uh, yeah so uh, so that's added for flavor and I don't want to take that away from uh, from my dish but I obviously need the, the, the chicken to cook uh, thoroughly so what I did was I opened up this this thigh and uh, I gave it a few cuts here as you can see uh, in order to make it nice and thin but I kept the, the skin on as well again for the same reasons I want everything that the chicken has to offer but I kept the, the bone in but I open up of uh, sort of a butterfly sort of uh, um, way my thigh and I'm going to teach you how to do that it just takes two seconds so this is one that uh, hasn't been done yet so I'm going to get my knife here and uh, get this aside so you can see what, what I'm doing so we have the bone here and this, this thigh is already um, um, partially open so we have the skin only on one side so what we do is obviously go next to the bone and nice and gently and cut it without uh, actually uh, splitting the the meat from the bone completely uh, so or stripping I should say and then we go on the other side just with the tip of the knife you can use a small knife for this if you want and do the same thing uh, this will make uh, do you know that the, the the closer you are to the bone, the longer it takes to cook the, the, the chicken. So this will, uh, will make the process uh, easy, easier for, for, uh, to get cooked like really fast. And uh, now we have the rest of the, of the thigh 
uh, if you think it's a bit too thick you can just go and slice a little bit the reason I'm not just uh, chunking the whole thing it's because I want to serve so these are four portions I want to serve the whole thigh as a portion so I'm going to just give a little uh, a slight cut there as well and now I have my thigh ready as well with the bone in this bone th situation is, is obviously optional so you can uh, you can uh, leave it on or just completely uh, remove it so let's get on with the, with the rest of our process so what we do with this pot basically and the magic of the cataplana is that everything goes in here and uh, you need to be sure of what you're doing in terms of seasoning and everything because once you you close it you don't open it again until the the dish is actually cooked so we're going to uh, work all our stuff in here uh, then close the, the, the pots and it will uh, cook on its own juices and this is the magic of the cataplana so basically it will just uh, cook on steam on its own steam uh, the, the, there's no um, loss of uh, water whatsoever there's no evaporation process so the whole thing uh, cooks really fast even though it's on um, on a low heat uh, on a medium to low heat okay so we have the option of actually uh, removing the, the, the cover from, from, the, from the base and uh, we can use it, uh, we can, we can uh, reattach it later on when, when we are done with, uh, with uh, all we need to, to put in here and then obviously we need to close it and then we can reattach the, the it's, it's just uh, um, easier to, to work around one pot rather than, than a pot and its lid. Okay, so let's get on with it. We have everything in hand, so the first thing I like to do in this uh, dish is just to add just a tiny little bit of olive oil to our bottom. This is just uh, to, to start it, to get it going. And then we have um, our onion, which should go in the bottom as well to make uh, sort of a, of a base for our, for our cook. On top of that, uh, of that onion goes our chicken. Now, you know I want to serve this as a whole portion, but I would advise to actually uh, cook it with the skin uh, facing the, the the onions and open rather than than um, than closed because it will take longer to cook. Okay, so we open the the legs like that, the thighs, and then like this. And now we're gonna keep adding stuff to it. So again, another layer of um, onions, just a little bit to get those onion juices going as well. At this point, I need to season that chicken as well. So a little bit of salt, not too much. Remember, nothing of this will escape. So everything you put in the pot will be in the pot at the end. And uh, there's, there will be, um, all the, the flavors will be concentrated as well. So now we're going to add, add our peppers. So, add some red peppers here. You can make a composition with this if you like. Um, the, the idea is to get all the ingredients uh, everywhere on the dish, okay? And as, as it cooks in layers, um, it will uh, it will uh, fr go from one layer to the next with all that flavor. So with the peppers going to the onion, with the onion going to the to the chicken, and uh, and everything else that we have here. Okay, so now we have our peppers in, and uh, I've got to mention it earlier. We need our potatoes as well, of course. Now with the potatoes, we will try to cover the this uh, pot, or cover the stew with the potatoes. Okay, now we can add our bay leaves, our garlics, you don't need to, to squash them or anything or to, or to um, chop them, they can just go whole because they, they just uh, need to perfume the, the dish rather than, than um, um, being a, an item to eat, okay? So now we need our carrots on top of that as well, now our tomatoes, same thing we did with the, with the other vegetables, just spread them on, on, on top. 
this will all cook beautifully and all these juices will uh, will go down to the to the chicken and then um, it will cook it perfectly now we add the rest of our onion and our potatoes our, the remaining peppers now the only the only season we've we've done so far it's uh, a little bit of salt on the on the chicken so now we're going to add another little bit of salt not too much now some pepper and some uh, paprika this uh, this dish really goes well with paprika so don't be shy with the paprika okay I have tied uh, um, a couple of um, branches of uh, meat so that I can get rid of it uh, in the end so it's tied it's just there my coriander I need to remove those stems and and just use those leaves like that of course you do if you don't like if you're not a, um, a, coriander, a coriander lover you can always use uh, parsley as well it's a different uh, the, kind of a different flavor but um, it will do the trick as well or you can skip the, the herbs all together I wouldn't but you can I'm not going uh, I promise I'm not going to go to your house and see if you if you use the coriander or not so pretty much all our seasoning is in there now we need the magic of our white wine so I have about uh, 125 ml of uh, dry uh, white wine which I'm going to pour on top of this and now I'm going to finish with a little bit of olive oil just a drizzle I don't want to make it too fat and then my special piri piri as well again just a little bit just to give it an extra oomph and and we're set so this is how it looks and now we need to close this pan and uh, get it going so pop this on top again make sure everything is inside and there should be a key here somewhere there, there she is and then I'm going to cook this, close this with our key. And these two handles should close as well. And now I'm going to get our pot going at a medium heat. And it should cook somewhere between 20 to 30 minutes. And then, uh, well, which we, for you is going to be two seconds. So uh, let's get on with our cooking and let's find out how it went. So our caterpillar has been cooking for 35 minutes and uh, it should be thor thoroughly cooked now and uh, we're going to find out right about now. So here we are, got all these steam um, coming out of it or if you could just smell it. Right so first thing I'm going to be doing is to get that mint um, parcel out. So let's dig in and see how this went uh, in terms of cook and flavor. You can see that the, the chicken is thoroughly cooked, but it's juicy. It's nice and tender and it's juicy, so it's not dry because it, it couldn't be dry with, uh, with all that sauce going on. So I'm going to try the, the chicken first and see how that is. That is delicious. Perfectly seasoned. The thing with the cataplana is that everything cooks from the top down, so the heat comes from from uh, uh, below, but then it transports all those vapors uh, up to the to the dome, and then all that vapor. Uh, cooks everything um, in one uh, whole um, process and then all those juices from everything from every layer just sifts down to to the next layer and to the next layer and then obviously that sauce at the end is something to, to die for it's absolutely gorgeous um, this is, was the cataplana um, which is this beautiful um, 
um, dish we have here. Um, this is a, a, another one of the, the a Portuguese uh, uh, traditional um, foods and in this case a traditional pot as well. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If, um, if you um, would like to add anything or ask anything just uh, put it down in the comments. Um, go on to uh, my website josonflavors.com to, um, to get um, all the details of the recipe. Um, and also you can, you can uh, comment on there as well on the, on the website. Thank you for coming and for watching this video. Uh, share it with your friends and your family. Uh, give me a thumbs, a thumbs up if you think I, I'm worth it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.